It's lovely to have your company. I'm just searching around for my cup of tea. It might still be in the kitchen. I might have to go and shoot off for it in a minute. I made it fresh as well. Anyway, good evening. Lovely to have your company with me tonight. My name is Esther. This is Stumpin' Star Creations. And I make handmade cards and paper crafts using stamps, ink, paper and lots of different bits from the craft company Stampin' Up, which I'm a demonstrator for here in England, UK. So if you see and like what I'm using, then please do get in touch for a catalogue if you're in the UK, Germany, France, Austria or the Netherlands. Um, or just watch along. If you're intrigued and never seen anything like this, then you're most welcome. I have some regulars that pop on, so I'll be chatting to those who come on live. And I know there are people out there that do catch this on the replay, and I really appreciate those people too. So thank you. I hope you are keeping well. Tonight the plan is to make a, a new home card for my sister who's moved house today. So I'm just checking that the comments are coming through. Fantastic. I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to scoot off to the kitchen to grab my cup of tea. Deborah Mitchum's here and so is Ellie. Can you hold the fort while I just go and grab my cup of tea, please? <laughs> I'm going to leave you staring down at my um, board. So if anyone comes in, you can tell them where, where I've gone. Just bear with. Okay. I'm back. Thank you. Where's Ruth moved to? She's still moved in the same town, uh, in fact, up the road. <laughs> so she's not moved anywhere. I'm looking for a very safe place to put my cup of tea. But I have been known for it to spill before. Um, yes. Thank you for holding the fort. OK, so the plan today, don't tell Ruth. I have tried to pre-warn her, just in case she plans to hop on, um, that I'm going to be making something tonight. Just calling up my other device so I can catch any comments. Lovely. So, I've gone ahead and I've done some preparation. And I've cut out a A6 card. That's our um, European and um, Australian sized sort of normal size card I'd call it and oh no I've got ink on it <laughs> that's a good start isn't it I then found roughly the centre point and cut it at an angle and I think this is about let's just check three and a quarter inches from the bottom which is about 8.2 centimetres up and made a mark to create this house shape which I'm going to use as my base for stamping on tonight. I'm just going to find a scrap piece of paper. Now I fiddled around with this idea so many times tonight. I've had about one, two, three, four, maybe four or five trials and I think I finally landed on a design. It's a little bit frustrating. I had this idea of this house in my head and then when I came to play with it and use some stamps I just couldn't settle on an idea which is a bit frustrating, but hey, I think I am there now. Okay, so good evening or welcome, lovely to see you. Thank you for coming on in and joining me. Ah, good to see you all. Right, I'll do the register in just a second. We're gonna get started. I've already gone ahead and cut out a post-it note and I'm using the one and three quarter inch circle bunch. Now, sorry, but this is no longer available currently available from my sample up shop but if you've got something similar you might have a die that you can use or find something that you can draw around is the second you know third best thing then by all means do that right I do have a cheat sheet tonight I don't normally for cards but because I've been mucking around so much I have um, done it I have let me unplug my charger because it tends to pull Okay, I'll be using some blending brushes tonight and some... I've landed on Free as a Bird. It's my go-to stamp set. If I get stuck, this really saves me out a lot of pickles. And I'll be using Brave Her Side because I know this is one of Ruth's favourite stamp sets and I wanted to kind of give her a nod to, you know, something that she might like. Let's get started. Enough talking, more stamping. <laughs> okay, let me just refer to my 
paper okay I think I started it doesn't matter we'll just start it's so nice to be back um I wasn't around last week I've been busy working but it's nice to come on and just spend a bit of time to unwind and to craft so I tend to stamp at an angle like this to my left so because I stamp at an angle I usually turn my project like that but whenever I stamp this stamp I seem to just go off on it it goes a bit oops it's fallen off already it's gone a bit wobbly I've not pushed it on properly onto my block so what I'm going to do is try and stamp straight this time so I'm just going to ink up again and I'm going to stamp off once because I don't want it full strength I'm going to try and cover up a bit of this boo-boo down here and stamp off lovely to see you all thank you so much for your company it's always nice to have a bit of crafting company okay I don't want to overdo it because I've got other elements that I say overdo it you know <laughs> I've got other elements that I want to put on this card so let's do a quick register hello hi Deborah and Ellie from earlier hi there Christine hi Claire hi Carol got two Christines in the house and the Linda We've got a Sally. Hi, Sally. Is this your first time? And Galena. Hi, Galena. Janice. Lovely to see you. And Dee Dee. Hooray. Right, let's just draw you in a touch. Come on, phone. And Levine's just picked. Happy birthday, Levine. Everybody wish Levine a happy birthday, please. If you're watching this live, it's Levine's birthday today. I won't sing in case I get in trouble with the, the big bosses, but... Okay, free as a bird. There we go. It just kind of lends itself to a new home card, I think, free as a bird. It's that kind of stamp set. Hi, Michelle. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Ellie's cheating. It's just going, hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, dear. So what I'd like to do is extend the branch out a little bit. So I'm using this leaf branch to extend to a bit of a, a branch extension rather than a house extension I want it to be sort of fairly naturalish like trees coming in sort of branches kind of doing their thing there we go I feel like I could do with another one here Lovely. Yes, Levine got a special cake with the tiara on the top. Imagine how wonderful. Okay, um, let's see. Now, this has got a bit of a multitude of colours on this brush, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I'm going to rub it in my grey. So it might be a bit of an off grey colour by the time I use it. I just want to get some colour down here to highlight the centrepiece. And although you might not pick it up now, when I peel back the post-it note, it will make a difference, okay? Trust me on this one. Right, what else did I do? <laughs> Oh, I knew what I was going to do. I wanted to look up like what colours to do like canaries. Are canaries all yellow? Because I thought it would be nice to have a splash of yellow. So the other nod that I wanted to give to Ruth was this Coastal Cabana colour. Now she thinks that, she says, <laughs> not she thinks, that her the colour that they've done their paint, I hope I'm not giving away too many secrets, the, the colour that they've painted their living room is like a Coastal Cabana colour. So this is my other little nod to their new home. And I'm trying not to go over the leaves too much, but I do want a bit of colour just to come in on the edge. And then I think I want a bit of green. Thank you, they're all yellow with black eyes. Okay. Well, we might do yellow canaries, I think. 
want this to be a nice cheery kind of card. Oh, a bit thick on that old green down there. But it's too late. I've got to watch my fingers. I'm a terror for smudgy fingers. Now the great thing about blending brushes is the clues in the name. They blend beautifully. So unlike sponges where it will give you a harsher colour, this just blends nicely into one another. I might just do a little bit of green around me. Not, don't press too hard, it's about building up that colour. I need a sip of tea. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I wanted to do some gold embossing and I'm wondering whether to do that at this point. Should I do the gold? I think I'll do the gold embossing now. Now, the other thing I hadn't done is to put I was going to put um, the house number in the middle. I know I'm using a few stamps yesterday. So this is family party. So it's got all these numbers in it and it's got these, um, all the different people, family people <laughs> that you might want to give a card to. I better just double check the house number. It'd be terrible if I got it wrong, wouldn't it? Imagine if I've, I've done that. Actually, I have done that before. Try it. Okay, good. Here's number 10. Nice and easy number to remember. So I've got one to use my number 10. And um, I'm going to stamp these separately, I think. Shall I? Let's have a look. Let's try and do things together. I'm shortcutting things tonight. Let's have a go. I think it might be too far apart. No, I'm going to stamp them individually because the numbers are too far apart otherwise. Actually, I don't want those ones. Now, if I'm current, coming up slightly blurry on screen, just have a look at your settings because it can make all the difference for me suddenly becoming clearer. Um, if you press the three dots somewhere or if you've got a menu, then it can... Because I can see on my other device it's automatically sets it at one setting but actually if you change the setting sometimes it becomes clearer so that's worth knowing about i'm just going to switch my heat tool on i will be bringing it closer to my device just be aware of that i'll be using the frame from very versailles let's let's get the number in there first Well, Christine's Googled it and they're all sorts of colours. <laughs> Ellie, Nanu, Nanu. <laughs> wow, it's a blast from the past. Now, I can just about see, because my first mark is slightly stained, I can just about see where that um, uh, ink has gone. For a minute, I couldn't see where my embossing powders were, but I've just found them. So I'm going to gold emboss the number. So I used what's called Versamark ink, which makes it a nice platform, which is nice and sort of like a sticky clear ink. So when you put this very fine embossing powder on, it sticks to the sticky ink. And now turn your volumes down, because I'm going to go near the mic. I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to heat from underneath, because it helps with the warping, because the heat tends to bend your cardstock. Okay, and that look, it's like magic, it changes it. I'm just going to turn this down a bit. Then the other um, heating I wanted to do was up the side here to give it some detail. Let's just fold this paper. Just wanted some gold detail up the left side. I want to avoid the bird a little bit. Or total, well, no, a little bit. I don't want to completely get the bird. I 
Is there a Welsh canary? They said, oh, not sure. Now you're asking. You're asking the wrong person. But somebody out there watching might know. You've got to be quick because I'm going to start colouring them in in a minute. <laughs> If you're watching for the first time, you can live chat along and let us know you're watching, if you want to. And let us know where you're watching from. Okay, we are going to heat up, so volume's down. Okay, so we recently had a new um, product come to market for stamping up called uh, gold, gild, gold gilded leafing, gold gilded leaves. And it's a different process, but it gives you a lovely gold finish. Why didn't I use that tonight? So gold gild, gilding, um, you don't get such a clear image, I think, um, from very detailed stamps like this. Whereas with gold embossing, it does show up all those details. So that's why we've gone for that. Okay. Oh, yes, that we used in the pit. Oh, yes, that's a nice connection. Thank you. Right, I did want to also add some flowers later. So remind me about that. I've got a sentiment I want to add. Should we go ahead and colour these lovely little birdies? I could, I wasn't quite just jade. Oh, decisions. Let's have a think on. Mm. <clears throat> now, the good thing about stamping blends is you can mix and match. You don't have to do one colour. So I'm going to gra grab up granny apple. Thinking maybe just jade. What else have we got here? Just gonna grab out a whole load of colours, why not? <laughs> and then let's go mango and saffron maybe. And let's have a look what we've got. So mm -hmm. what colour is this? Just light just jade. That's a nice colour. I like that. Thinking maybe light just jade with the light mint macaron. Okay, that decision's made. I think I'm going to go for that. Or do I need to go a little bit brighter? Yeah, I think I need to go brighter. Light granny apple green. Oh, decisions. Okay, um, I think I'm going to have to use that Granny apple green because well let's mix it let's see what okay, let's Esther just get colouring love <laughs> I'm dithering let's just do it there that's nice. Now, I will get the colour come through if I'm not careful. I think I've used thick Whisper White cardstock, so as long as you don't lay down too much colour, then um, it won't go through. But if you start laying down the colour a bit thicker, you might find that it does go through. So the colours I'm using are light just jade and light granny apple green which you've got the lovely bluey tones and then you've got your bright green color to go with now i'm going to leave out the branches hi mindy thank you did i miss saying hello to anybody else sorry if i did you know, it's like doing two things at once. And I know us ladies are good at multitasking. Every so often you might just miss the trick. 
hope everyone's keeping well today. I'm going to do a bit of a time, bit at a time, so we don't miss anything. This is your chance to relax. Oh, I totally spat on that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Get a free bit of DNA. <laughs> Just give it 72 hours. It's all right. I have been testing because of work and I am um, COVID free. <laughs> It's not funny, but I'm just saying it's just I'm embarrassed because I just spat on my card. Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly. <laughs> Don't need to talk about spitting. Right, I'm gonna leave the flowers because I might cover them up anyway. <laughs> Yes, what were we saying? <laughs> Naveen, have you managed to do anything for your birthday, Lovey? Or has it been a bit difficult being stuck in doors? You want to know about this cake that you've got? Everyone else all right? Hi, Shirley. Yay, I managed to live, I know. Well, I thought... Last week I thought, oh, I could just be too tired, but I was all right, actually. But then, um, then I was going to come on yesterday, I thought, oh, actually, I've just I've released a video so they can watch that. And then I thought, um, I'll definitely try coming back onto YouTube tonight. So I will try. And the other thing I will try is I probably can manage Facebook, but I'll probably do it at a different time. So... I'm thinking, um, so, the thing is I don't like to set dates just in case, I will try and maybe do it on a Tuesday, but it'll be more likely, I don't know, half past four, that sort of time, my time. All this is taking shape. All people having snow. Yeah, we haven't had a second sort of... Well, we had a little bit of flurry. But, um... Nothing settled the second time. Okay, I like it. And now I really would like to do... Some... I think I'll just use the light. Great, I don't want to introduce... I say I don't want to introduce any more colours. I, I was going to use pink. For the flowers but for the branch i'm going to go gray because i don't want to introduce brown because i've already got gray in my in my coloring okay birds <laughs> good to yellow flowers Hmm. Okay, let me know. As you're live with me, have a vote. I'm, I'm going to do yellow birds. So do we want to introduce pink flowers or do we want yellow flowers? I'm already in my head decided, <laughs> I think. But you can have the vote anyway. I'm just interested to see what you, you would say. It doesn't mean I'm going to go with it. Just vote either yellow or pink and I'll, I'll make a decision. <laughs> oh, remind me, I do want to put a sentiment on. And I've got some flowers to put on, so remind me. Okay, <clears throat> so what have I got here? So I don't want to go too dark. I say that, but I might. Let's go mango. To have some dark accents. Got a lot of pink folks, I'm surprised. So I think we'll make the cap a bit darker. Maybe the wing outline. I'm gonna wing it. Get it? I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> Sorry, that's really bad. Now I'm using light saffron. Oh, I might as well colour the whole bird in. I do light, bit of light saffron down the front. Sometimes it is nice to leave a bit of white space actually. Let's have a look, just see if it's gone through. Oh no, look, I've done quite well usually soaks through maybe because this is the thicker card thanks some of you got my joke it's a very bad joke oh 
Okay, what did I just use? It was the dark one, wasn't it? See, the dark just makes all the difference on his head. <laughs> well, I did wonder about doing blue tits, but I'm going to... They're, they're going to be yellow canaries, I decided. I was trying to avoid... I tend to sort of go to the sort of the blues and the the same sort of shades, but I think it's quite nice just to stick to a simple palette. So what did we decide? They all could be slightly different as well, that's the great thing about colouring. You can kind of make it your own. You don't all have to be the same. So, let's have a look. Ooh. Pink, 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 yellow, pink. Yellow, pink, yellow, pink. yeah, I think pink is really, <laughs> pink has really gone for that one, hasn't it? Well, I think maybe we can audition, maybe I'll, I'll do different ones and we can decide. I'm quite liking the crisp look of not having like a girly pink, but having it like a nice sort of fresh, yeah, you know. And in fact, I know she's got this colour in another room, so I think that's why I'm tempted to stick to that palette. What's 20? Oh, the snow is 24 inches and 18 inches. Couldn't imagine that. That is cray cray. Right, from the same stamp set, this one, Free as a Bird, it's got these cute little blossom flowers here which you'd be pleased to know I've taken the liberty of cutting out because I wanted to add them to my picture, my card. Oh, actually, I wanted a sentiment to go on there. So I did actually cut out a centimetre, although I did it roughly, so I don't know if I need to, I might need to do it again. Um, I don't know if it takes up too much. Mm, okay, the question is pink flowers, pink or yellow? Let's find out. Now, do we go Blushing Bride? And the trouble is, oh, we could go Rococo. Do a pale Rococo. Got a bit of petal pink. Let's have a look. Now, do we want it to look like spring? Yeah, okay, spring blossom. Let's have a look. This is I'm thinking this might look a bit too bright, but I'm gonna just do some this comes out a very kind of like fluorescent pink colour, which I'm not convinced about, but I'm gonna go over with the petal pink is very sort of orangey pink. Hey Martina. Uh, well, she said she's got Coastal Cabana, and then there's another one that's all like a yellow, like a daffodil. So what do we think? That's toned it down a bit. Okay, so that's the yellow. Do you like that? Like a pinky spring flower? Rather than the yellow? Coastal Cabana flowers. Ooh. Yeah. Might not even need the sentiment. What do we think? Okay, you guys can vote the sentiment while I colour the. I was going to have this one. Good things are worth waiting for, which I thought was quite sweet. I was going to have it off to the right, but actually, I think it could sit in the middle if I did have it. And I think it definitely needs trimming down. Oh, Glennon liked the way I coloured the pink blossom. Isn't it amazing? I started off going, oh, I'm not sure about that. And then when, with those blends, the more you colour it, the more it, I can't actually see what I'm doing. Excuse me. Yes, I could put a sentiment inside. I'm going to trim this down so I've got a bit more of a visual as to what it looks like. But I quite like the idea of... But now that I've coloured it in, I'm thinking... I like the idea of being able to have a card up, obviously, all year round. 
Ruth, did you hear that when you're watching this later? <laughs> you can have it up all year round if you like. <laughs> Whereas when you start sticking a sentiment on it, it then sort of, you know... Yeah, I do think without the sentiment or just... Oh, remind me to put these on. <laughs> Deborah Porton's asked me to start again. It's called the rewind button, Deborah. <laughs> if you don't want to look, you, you're going to have to look elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it's not supposed to be like a birdhouse, but it's actually kind of turned into a bit of a birdhouse. But it's more of a house shape I was going for. But hey-ho, it doubles up. Let's just pretend I, it was meant to be a birdhouse. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Let's carry on. So I'm putting the, this is like a feel that I've got embossing powder on this. Let's get a clean sheet so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So light Rococo rose in the middle, just following, did we decide it's called sustainment? Away, flipped away, come back. Or are they called something else? Soon as you add another colour, it turns out. So you like the card as it is, you don't feel the need for a sentiment. I'm starting to feel that way now. Um, dark and light, purple, posy tooth flowers. You can have a whole number of combinations of the flowers. You've got to give a chance for the flowers to cool off a little bit. Not the flowers, the colours. Colours definitely toned down. Even that bright pink that I just used. Um, it's totally, yeah, pastel colours. I know Claire's been working with pastel colours. And I've deliberately left a bit of white space on here as well. Because I want it to look a little bit like blossom. Not completely, but there's nothing wrong with white space. Hey Donny, long time no see, how are you keeping? So then I'm going to use the lid of my pick me up tool, pokey tool, what's it called? Take your pick, take your pick, I call it pick me up. Or if you've got one of these Tombow glues, if you've got a pen, you can squash, use that to squash. And this is like a foam mat, if you don't have a foam mat you can use... Um, a mouse mat, turn your mouse mat round. So this is just I've got a bit of extra gift to it. And then now I'm going to go and find some. Now I think I'm going to need to colour in these little flowers. I'm just going to do them in dark petal pink so they go with our bigger. Flowers. Sorry, I had to talk slowly, just concentrating. Then we'll add some little sparkle as well in a minute. Oh, do you call it pick me up tool as well, Shirley? <laughs> uh, right, let's get some. What are we thinking? Petal pink. Mm, let's go for it. Oh, I'm getting your joke now. I was wondering what you're all on about. Number 10 Downing Street, about Boris moving. You guys. I was like, what are you on about, Boris moving? <laughs> okay, so I won't stick those down because I'm going to now... Okay, let's move these out of the way. Make us a spice. Making the spice. Okay. So this is the flower, no, confetti flower border punch. And you can feed this through so it becomes a continuous design. Did you know that? Do you want me to show you how? So if you punch your card, I'll put this on here. And then you slide it through and then 
you match the already punched flowers to the next set of foil flowers here and keep going on then you'll get a continuous border so that's what those flowers are for on either side now I'm going to turn this round and go in between what I've just punched out so that I can get a few more flowers out of this you can actually go in between that was what Ruth Ruth showed us that I was like oh that's quite genius actually I'm going to share that tip so if you wonder who this mystery Ruth is <laughs> she's my eldest sister and she has a YouTube channel of her own at Artful Stampin just chucking the ones away that got caught and aren't perfect I know you don't always get perfect flowers but I'm just gonna get rid and then where's my pick me up to where he is I need to go and get the other attachment so I can unscrew this bit and put in my my uh, what do you call it oh I'm really starting to lose my words what's it called Yeah, that. Uh -huh, somebody else picked me up on that before. The fact that I say older sister. I don't know. I don't. It's just automatic, I suppose. I suppose, you know, would I just say my sister? I suppose because I've got two sisters, I feel like I've got to justify it, I suppose, and just say... Oh, I don't know. Some people do think I'm... I'm older than Helen which might excuse me <laughs> just goes to show Helen looks young for her age right so just rolling this around to break up the fibers ball tool score tool <laughs> um, is it called a stylus or is that my imagination my brain is starting to get a little bit zapped this time of night Oh, Glenna's always known as a second sister. Are you known as a middle sister? How many sisters have you got, Glenna? There, look at my little pretties. I like being the youngest, I must admit. <laughs> okay. So now I'd like to... Do you know what I did before and it worked quite well? I don't know if it'll work again. But if you actually sort of sprinkle them on, sometimes they'll naturally fall. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but it does kind of naturally fall where you might want them to go without being too particular. Like it's so easy to try and place everything, isn't it? See, that worked quite well. That worked in my favour. <laughs> okay. So now to stick them on. <laughs> I'm just going to grab out another mat so I've got. Right, where's my glue? I'm going to use my other end of my tool with the sticky end. Let's sort these flowers out first. These big ones keep floating around. Thank you for sticking with me if you're joining me tonight. It's, like I said, it's always nice to have your company. I kind of want to make sure these, because these are slightly 3D, I do want to make sure that they have a chance to adhere. Do adhere. <laughs> you were talking about where you come in the family, that's so funny. Right, this is going to take a little while. If you want to grab yourselves a cup of tea and come back, I'll still be here. <laughs> it's flagging up a message that I've got to approve, which is odd. Now, I'm wondering whether I need to balance 
over here. I think I'm going to do that because, yep. It just looked a bit odd having those both flowers, you know, just down that side. I needed to balance it by putting it on this side. I've got a question coming through about posting it. How do you post it, says Mindy? So this will go normal size. This is a normal, like A6 size. So the flowers will get squashed a little bit. Um, and it will get posted flat. But hopefully Ruth will know to zhuzh up the flowers when it gets to her. <laughs> and these little ones, although they won't stay as popped up, they will kind of retain that sort of have a slight crease to them so so sorry this is kind of the boring bit where you just got to watch me do some sticking but it's all part and parcel of the process and it, it just shows you what goes into the making of cards sometimes not all the time you can make quick cards tonight is a little bit more labor intensive yeah in a c6 envelope is there another question? You'd put it in a box, would you? Ah, oh. no. Mind you, I am having. I've I've got some other bits to send, so it will go in the parcel anyway. To be honest. Love these. The idea of maybe the, these tiny ones are just adorable. I like the idea of maybe a few more of those kind of floating down. Okay. I do we like that one there? You, yes, you. A medium sized one. Okay. Oh, Carol, you sweetie. Thank you so much. I'm wondering now whether just to cover, cover up all the flowers that I've coloured in. Thank you so much, Carol. Bless you. So if you're wondering what Carol's just done, she's um, sent a super chat. Which if you see the dollar sign at the bottom with where the comments are, that's how you do it. But please don't feel that you have to. I'm just pointing it out that it's there. It's just one of many ways in which you can support me. Okay, so I'm liking the idea of, now this is where I go and ruin it, <laughs> not ruin it, but like end up putting things in one place. Thank you for a fantastic card, Esther. Oh, Mindy worries about the flowers. Flowers lives, flower lives matter. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, they will get a little bit squashed down, but um. See, even I'm squashing it down a bit now. I feel maybe I need... I might just use the little ones. I don't want to... I've got to be careful, kind of, like... I have this very thin line between overdoing it and not having quite enough. <laughs> and I tend to cross that line. <laughs> I feel this one needs a group of maybe two... Do we want one there? Do we? Um, I think we need something down here. Okay, let's take those big ones away. No more, no more flower. Enough of the flowers. This Claire's like Esther's reached that point. Esther's reached that point of no return, where she's gone and put too many flowers on. Esther, step away from the flower. <laughs> Oh, too funny. Too funny, right? You're getting bored of me sticking flowers now, everybody. Right, moment of truth. Few. Few, 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 right. I'm not done yet. You know what it does need is a bit of splatter. Because we're going to do a little nod. Nod to Ruth. She likes her dotage. So I wasn't going to use a splatter stamp, but I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. 
just a little bit Oop, just a little bit so this is forever fern and it's got these little splatter and splatters and birds go very well now the question is what colour I'm thinking a touch of Coast Cabana because this colour has got a little bit lost now that we've done all those elements on there what did Audrey say Ruth will know how to revive them <laughs> yeah okay feeling a bit brave Okay, that looks really bright. Let's tone it down a little bit. But I've got to put maybe some full strength or else it'll look a little bit odd. Okay. We'll stamp the flowers then. Trust me, it's going to make all the difference having these little details. You see where I stamped the flower? <laughs> Yay, Coastal Cabana. And a bit of spotted. Bit more. Bit more. One last one. Bit more. Okay, step away from the dots. Yeah, I like Coastal Cabana. I'm feeling the birds need something. I need a, a bit more beak. That, I don't think I've seen birds with a white beak before. I feel like it's getting a little bit lost in translation there. It's better, okay. Makes me a bit happier. Right, okay, we're not quite nearly there, folks. You've been amazing. Let's just check the inside here. Oh, look, I'm really impressed it hasn't gone through. Right, now for the centre of the flowers. We need to look at how we're going to... Add a bit. Oh, I have got some little gems here. I've got some gems. What else have I got? Pearls might be nice. Thank you. I've got some. Oh, maybe like two. Oh, I could use these greeny sequins. Some sequins. Some pearls. Diamond. I think pearls. Little tiny pearls. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. Okay, I'm not going to use those. Might use a few sequins. Now I've got to be very strategic with my sequins. This is the make or break. I thought that pearls for Ruth. She likes. She likes pearls. I won't. Remind me not to overdo the sequins, but just bear with me with it, okay? I do love mix. It's quite nice when you can mix all the different. So how many have we got there? One, two, three, four. Might just nestle one in on a leaf. Um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, how many in their family? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to add six sequins. Sequins? What are sequins? Sequins. As a nod to every member of the family. How big are the smallest black pearls? I don't actually have the black pearls, so I'm afraid I don't know. Should be in the catalogue though. Okay, so we're thinking some pearls, little pearls. Oh, look. Giving the, the flowers a centre brings them to life. This is a good way to make sure your flowers don't get too crushed if you just give them a pearl. Look. See, I do hope this is a card that's going to stick around. <laughs> I expect to see it on her mantelpiece when I'm allowed to visit. <laughs> you guys will have to hold her to it. Oh, now, come on now. I'm going 
to go to a good home. They're cute, aren't they? I wonder about these flowers. Okay, those are those all the big ones? I feel like I need something in this, those other ones, but I won't. I don't think I'll put them in there, but I am wondering about... Let's just see. I'm going to audition. Oh, I know what I could use. Where's it gone? Step away from the pearls. Yes, it's all right. I'm finished with the pearls. But I'm just thinking, oh, trust me on this one. Look, no, maybe not. No, too big. Too big. Put it down, Esther, put it down. Okay. I, I, do you know what? I've not forgotten Winker's Tell. I will do that now. So because those are too big, I'm going to just wink up the centres. There we are. Can you see that there? Just a hint, hint of a wink. And I don't, I don't think I'll, hmm, shall I splatter it with a bit of wink? I'm gonna cover that over. Might as well, we've got this far, everybody. You can't tell me to stop now. I've got to do a little bit. Yes, that makes me happy. A little spark on shine. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to cover up that light reflection. I know it's a bit glary. There. That's better. Look, even the birds have got a little wink of Stella on them. Oh. This card is going to look tiny now that I'm going to zoom out. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? Like, sometimes when you're watching on screen, it looks massive, but actually it's tiny. <laughs> That's how small it is. <laughs> there. I am really pleased with that. It's come out in the end after all my trials of trying to sort it out. And for me, it's those little finishing touches. Do you know the only thing that's missing? I wonder if anybody can guess. You guess, and I'm going to show you some of my trials, see if I've left them. There's one. Did I chuck one away? I think I've chucked some of them away. I'm just looking in my bin. No, I think I think I might have got rid of some, but so, yes, you guessed it, Ellie, ribbon. So this was my first go. I was trying with a different stamp set, and I just there was just too much yellow, too spotty for this occasion. Tried to work with something like this, just wasn't what I was after. I did do one with um the succulents. Here it is, it's hiding. Oh no, this is the very Versailles one. And then that was my other one. So you can see the progression. There is definitely one that I did with the succulents. So this is one, two, three, four, definitely fifth attempt. But there you go. It just, just to show you, sometimes things don't magically... Let me just turn this around. Oh, you said ribbon. <laughs> if you guess ribbon... Yeah, I usually like to put a bit of ribbon, but it, I, I don't feel the need. I'm I'm satisfied. So just to show you the progression sometimes it takes of when you are creating something. It's not just about an hour's video. Sometimes it is. Sometimes you can roll with it. But creating is a lot of the time a process. 
So um, just give yourself a chance to just work through it and enjoy it. Enjoy the process and enjoy figuring out what's, you know, what works and what's not working. I think um, I remember getting to a point of just trying to make a resolution for myself to say, if you don't like it, change it and figure out what it is. What is it? And I think that comes with experience, really, um, to know what's not working. Um, sometimes it could be a colour if you take the colour completely out or it could be there's not enough white space or sometimes it's just a matter of turning your card from portrait to landscape or vice versa and it can change. The only thing I could think of is the fly in the, the fly in the hole makes darker to make it more like a birdhouse. The, the, the centre hole to be darker. So, yeah, I suppose the, the original idea was to make it an actual house looking card rather than a birdhouse, but it's um, it developed. So thank you. Sorry if you heard my neck click just then. I've got an achy neck and I keep clicking it. Uh, just reading any comments. My ear looks angry. It's very warm. I think somebody must be talking about me. And I've got three lights on, which is making me feel warm as well. Yeah, it's trying to... It is a bit pink, isn't it? I haven't even been on the phone or anything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to head off. And um, I hope to catch up with you soon. I'm in the spotlight. Um, thank you all so much. It's been so nice to have your company to come back on again something really nice about just sharing creativity and being together so i appreciate your time you are so welcome i'm glad you all like the card it's got my token smudges on the back i've just noticed oh well goes along with a bit of spit doesn't it <laughs> take care everybody and hopefully ruth will share it and let her know her thoughts on it um, when she receives it take care lots of love I'm, yeah, I, I'm sure she will, Martina. Lovely to have your company, everybody. Good night, all. Good morning. Good afternoon. God bless. Take good care of yourselves. And I hope to catch you again soon. Okay, bye.